Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be showing you, or I am going to be showing you how to install the Alpha India Group AI Manager for FSX and Prepared. Actually all versions of FSX and all versions of Prepared. And this is the part one of two parts video where I'm going to be showing you how to install AI Manager to simply get your airlines and routes into your simulator. Part two will be about AI Companion, where that is very useful about limiting certain aircraft and many other features it can do. You can go and find that out on part two of this mini AIG series. So let's get on with it. Let's go and install AI Manager. What you want to go and do is head to this website. It will be linked down below. It will take you to the forum page of AI Manager. The current version for it is 0.9.4.8. What you want to simply do is download. The download link, just scroll down and it's there. We'll go and download that for you. What you also want to do is go to your prepared downloads and go to the SDK and download the SDK. This could be prepared version one SDK, version two SDK, literally any SDK um, for your simulator, or even FSX ones. Just as long as it's the one for your simulator, it's all good. In fact, as I seem to remember, you only need the SDK if you're running prepared version four or prepared version five. Any older versions are prepared and FSX, uh, you don't need the SDK. So if you're only running version 4 of or version 5 of Prepared, download the SDK from your download section on their website. Okay, here it is in the folders. There are two folders. Well, there's an application and a zip folder. You want to open up the AIG AI Manager zip and you want to go and find where you want to install this. I've made a neat folder in my Prepared Add-ons, Add-ons AI then AIG Tech AI Manager. I'm just gonna go and put it into there, like so. That's AIG Manager installed onto your computer. You can now actually go and delete that zip folder if you would like, if you're very neat with your downloads folder. <laughs> also, you wanna go and install the SDK, if, like I said, if you're only using version four or version five. I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna install it again. Uh, but just take note of where you've installed it. I've installed it to my Flight Sim Hard uh, SSD and then prepared version 5 SDK. That's where my SDK is installed. Just make sure you take a note of that. Right, AIG AI Manager. What you want to go and do is right click it, go to Properties, Compatibility, and make sure Run This Program as Administrator is ticked. Click OK. So when you double click this, it will run it as Administrator and you don't have to always right click it, click run as administrator, you can just double click it like so. AIG application has decided to run on the other window, but what it is doing is getting stuck in a loop where it is loading stock airports. If that's getting happening for you on the loading page where it is stuck on loading stock airports, then restart your PC and then rerun this. And uh, well, like I said, I have to do a double right click, you just run it again. Just rerun it after you restarted your PC and it should all be good. So I'm gonna be doing that right now because it has got a suck in its loop again. So PC has restarted. So I'm gonna right click it, run as administrator. And here we go, it's loaded up on this, uh, this um, monitor, here we go. So loading stock airports, there you go. It's straight to add on airports now. It actually is not gonna, be stuck on loading stock airports. So it's just going to do its last little checks and give it a moment and it will properly run. Actually, you can see you got, oh, <laughs> I was about to say you can see LA on the uh, loading page there. Right, it's loaded up now. It's got only one airline. Well, it's not an airline, it's called uh, Traffic Aircraft and this is the default traffic aircraft in your prepared. We can actually go and find it now, go to your prepared and then scenery, and then scroll all the way down to world, or global, I think. And is it on global or is it on world? I believe it's actually on world. 
Yes, here we go. Trafficaircraft.bgl. That is your BGL or default airline traffic, like your Orbit Airlines or whatever the default aircraft are. That is that BGL. You can actually go and turn it off if you want or just delete it. Uh, I don't mind. But sometimes you could get the default aircraft running with the AIG aircraft or just normal actual real world aircraft. So you can actually just delete it. I'm actually going to rename it Ooh. Uh, to dot off to disable the BGL. Wow, well, I'm doing very well here. To dot off like so. But I'm not going to do it because AIG is still running and I don't want to mess anything up. What you want to go do on AIG is go to Tool, Settings, and here we go. We've got FS Settings. I'm currently running Prepared Version 5, and here's my location of Prepared Version 5. And if it is different for you, then just change it to wherever your simulator is installed. Like I said, it can run on FSX and all versions of Prepared. When I go to Flight Plan Updates, I leave this all default. I don't touch this page. You can tweak it if you want, so you can get older season. So, if you want your flight plans to be a bit newer, so from 2019, or if you want to go really old and just, you know, how old do you get? So, but I'm going to keep it on default 2018 at the summer season. And then you want to go to flight plans. I'm going to be leaving this on 1% because I'm going to be doing the AI companion. Uh, settings. So I'm going to leave this on 1%, but let's say max activity you set to 100% and minimum is on 1%. What that means is if you set 50% traffic in the sim, it will run 50% uh, of AIG AI because it's like halfway between these 1 and 100, but I'm going to leave it on one, like so, on min and max, and I'm going to set 1% traffic in my simulator because I got AI companion which can limit the amount of aircraft I have in my flight sim. So that is that. Cookies, well that will take a while to load up the setting page, I don't know why. What you need to do is go and log in to all of your AI, um, not AI, just all the forums, so AIG forum, AvSim forum and flight sim forum. Sometimes these pages, let's go to AvSim for example, it will say script errors can be skipped. And what that means is you'll get this error. Just click yes and keep spamming yes until it is fine and it's okay and you can go and log in. But like I said, I've logged in already, so it's absolutely fine. For prepared version 4 and prepared version 5 users, you can go to this page. Uh, on this page, you can go and set your add-on path. This is where it will install your AI. And what I'm going to do is within the AI, actually it's there, within this AIG AI manager, I'm going to make a new folder and name it add on. If I can type. <laughs> there we go, add on. And I'm going to go to setup, OK, and go to that folder. So this PC, flight sim drive, prepared add ons, add ons, AI, AIG manager, add on. OK, OK. And there we go. I tick use freeware only because I don't have any payware AI. And if you tick it, it will not come up saying, do you want to install the payware version of this model or do you want to install the freeware version of this model? Um, it's rather annoying if you don't have the payware version. So I just tick use freeware only. Uh, so when you install the AI, it won't ask you if you want the payware version or the freeware version. Image tool settings, it's already found image tool for me. Um, it's installed wherever you have it installed. For me, like I said, I've already installed the SDK and I've installed it to prepared version 5 SDK in my flight sim hard drive. For the SDK of prepared version 5, image tools in the in the base folder right here. So I'm going to select that and select open. And that's the image tool installed. Cleaning settings, you can just go and click on these if you want. It shouldn't actually have any temp stuff or unused flight sim data within uh, or on the first run of AIG AI Manager, but if you have random like temp or a new stuff, you can go and click that every time we run AIG uh, because it can free up some space that you might realize that you might need. <laughs> uh, sometimes when you run AI 
uh, manager, it will ask you to verify and update your sim objects. If it does ask you that, where it is is on the on this page and here. You just go and click on that and it'll verify that for you. That is now done, so we can go and save and close. And what we can go to do now is go to online, available online. We're going to go and maximize this screen, and this is all of the airlines. In fact, also some general aviation airlines that you can go and download from AI Manager. Like, as you can see, there's just a lot. <laughs> We're going to install one airline today because they do take a while because it's very detailed, and that'll be the Airbus, Airbus Transport International. That's got the Belgalugas on there. What you can go and do is select it, you see it's gone blue, and you can click OCI Bolt. But before I go and do that, what you can also do is a multi selection. So you can select multiple ones. Let's say I want Airbus and Airbridge Cargo to install. There you go. It's got two blue ones. You don't have to hold control to select, it's just multi selection and it will go and select loads for you. But I'm just going to install one today Airbus Transport International. Click OCI Bulk and boom, it will go and install for you. There you go, the Airbus Bell Luger. It's now installing. It may come up saying not responding, that's fine, it does do that sometimes. It is installing and it is not not responding. So once it's installed, this page will go away and I'll come back to this page of the online flight plans and Airbus should have disappeared. Okay, it's now done, it's installed. Uh, well, just the Airbuses. So we're going to close this and there you go, Airbus Transport International is installed into your flight simulator. What I'm going to be showing you now is to actually make sure it is in your sim because it's not like your Ultimate Traffic Live where it's a separate application. It uses your actual sim AI traffic slider. So what I mean by that is on your sim, for me it's prepared, I go to options, to traffic, and make sure your airline traffic density is set to whatever you want. I'm going to set it to 1% because that is what I've set it to in my settings and under flight plans 1% so I'm going to leave it at 1% click OK and then whatever airlines you have it will be in your simulator but if you've installed a ton of airlines like let's say all of them the FPS could uh, be rather in the single digits because it's probably rendering like let's say over 400 aircraft which is not good so, if you want that uh, not to be the case, and, if you, and you are getting the case, please go and watch part two, where I'll be showing you how to, not necessarily fix that, but manage the amount of aircraft in your flight sim. So that's how you install AIG Manager, or AIG AI Manager actually, and yeah, just go to Available Online, and go, let's say, Aegean, and then we click OCI Bulk.